How's it going you guys? My name is Hugh and today this is episode 2 of Project Raptor. So it's been a long time since I did something for Project Raptor um, and for Betty in general but it's been trying to I've been trying to figure out what to do and where to go so but I found out about these uh, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to know what they are um, but here's the name of it right here so if you guys want to check these out uh, these actually protect the bottom of your bumper and stuff uh, I'm actually at my friend's uh, house right now trying to get this fixed so I figured I'd get an extra hand on this project yeah so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach and guide you guys through this there have been a lot of tutorials but I'll leave subtitles on the screen and show you guys what's actually going on because um, I'm probably gonna forget what to say you can't paint them I was gonna make them silver unfortunately but I decided not to because you didn't want to have to worry about repainting it and all that stuff, you know. So I'm just going to keep them black for now. Let's get started, I guess. <laughs> just for the record, you guys, if you guys don't know what you're doing with this stuff, make sure you get professional help. Maybe they know more about the stuff than you do. Like, I've never put one of these things on before, so hopefully it turns out okay. Um, but like I said, the reason why I got them is because one, oh that sunlight. It's because one, it protects my car, and two, it's got some style to it. Um, other than that, I got this and that's about it. I don't think I have anything else I want to add to her. Maybe a new filter, I think I mentioned that before. Maybe a new filter for the car. I have found one online, it was super cheap, but it's actually very good. Um, I just need a second opinion on it to make sure I, I know what I'm buying is good. Here's another hint. Don't ever buy anything unless you guys know for sure that it's okay and it's like compatible with your vehicle too. Uh, some of my friends learned firsthand from that and their car exploded. Like literally, not cool, but in an action movie, exploded. So, just a little tip for you guys. So basically the first thing you want to do is line it up with the bumper that you're putting it on, particularly the front bumper. Uh, you want to make sure it's even on both sides. The best way to do is to line it up from one end of the bumper all the way around to the other end. Now, I actually use something called Simple Grease, but you can use any other liquid to help clean underneath the bumper. That way you don't have to deal with any gunk, grease, or rubble from the road before you put the actual lip on. This helps it stay on for a very, very long time and also prevents it from falling off while you're driving too. As you can see, we went for one corner of the bumper, but actually my friend Steve had an interesting idea. So we went with the idea of not doing the whole bumper, even though that's what the thing is meant to do. We came up with the idea of creating fins, or flares you can say. Now we actually lined it up from the very end all the way to the curved part of my front bumper and stopped there. And we chopped up strips of the easy lip. Now again right here, we just go from one corner of the bumper to the center of that arc. If you can see that on the bumper where my, uh, my friend's hand is. At the end on the left there, we stopped at that arc and chopped off any excess piece that was just sticking out. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact because, uh, no, first of all, nobody's going to be like two inches from it. But if you do, if you really want to be precise of, uh, with it, just take your time. Make sure it lines up. You don't cut kind of funny. Uh, trim any edges down. It might seem a little rough. Same thing here. Just do it with the back bumper. Clean it off first, and then make sure the easy lip lines up nice and neat from the from the mud flap all the way around to the plastic part. Now, as you see, we actually trimmed down the edges to make sure that everything was even. You could do this way ahead of time, uh, but it depends on you or however you feel like doing it. And like I said before, just make sure you start with the mud flap and then go... For me, we did to the plastic part of my back bumper, if you can see that where uh, my friend's hand is. And I just did the rest and I make sure I planted it. I went ran my fingers across it to make sure it stayed still. Because otherwise, you're not, it's not staying very well. It'll stretch the tape out and it'll plant it. Make sure the surface is nice and smooth too. Same thing, just chop it down too.
Alrighty guys, so uh, just as an extra little thing, I went out and got a new filter because I did uh, mention that I did need... Wow, I cannot talk today. I did mention I needed a new filter for my car and the one in my uh, hood right now, the stock one, is it's getting kind of old so I figured I'd get one of these bad boys. Uh, and a fr my friend Steve who uh, helped me put the, uh, the easy lips on, give it the little fin idea, he's the one that came up with the idea. Um, so, and like, like I said before, um, so he recommended that I get this one because, uh, it fit, obviously it fit my car, so, and, uh, it also helps, you know, bring in some more cold air to my car as well. So if you guys have a Hyundai Veloster or if you have a car similar to mine, I think the Genesis takes this exact one, but I'm not sure. I don't know. You have to research it. Uh, I got this at, uh, O'Reilly. You can pretty much get it at any auto parts store, but mostly O'Reilly and other stores like it. Um, but you can also just order it online too from Amazon if you wanted. But let's go ahead and just t t uh, put this in and uh, let's see what the difference is, I guess. I don't know. Right, let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't have my camera, so I have to... Uh, uh. Oh, gotta hold this open with my head. My little thing in my bug. Good. Alright, so the way you do it is that you pretty much take this little thing off. If you look in the engine bay, you just take this thing off with the little clamps. I don't know if you can see it. These little clamps right here. You just do it on that and take this off. It just lifts right up. And then there's that. You can see that this thing is a little old. I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but if I had my DSLR, you could probably tell a lot better. And you can see how just ugly that is. Some of the stock ones are okay, but they're not that bad. So let's go ahead and put that down. Don't need that. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. Eh. Alright. Uh, I gotta put my phone down. Hang on a sec. Oh good, the sun's going down a little bit. Uh, then just drop it right in there. I'll probably clean the inside of this when I get back home, so... Okay. I gotta make sure it's in there, right? Ew, why is it all greasy? Oh, Alright, so I guess that's it, really. Let's close that. And, uh, clip these back on. Oop, come on. There we go. And that's it. Well, don't need that one anymore. That's garbage. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. Uh, this will probably be uploaded a week after Christmas. That I'll post the episode two. Just a filter. <laughs> it's just a filter. All right. Well, I think it's nice that you know I have a decent filter instead of one that's like kind of crappy because always the stock ones are the, are the crappiest ones, you know. But I think it's nice that you know I have a fresh one in there instead of this old piece of crap, you know, which is the stock. I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode of Project Raptor, and I will see you. Yay. See you goons later. Okay guys, so I just got home and uh, I, I thought I, I filmed the whole filter thing on my phone. Uh, and I just got home and I see this at my doorstep as soon as I get home. I'm like, what the heck is that? And I'm like, no. These can't be the eyelids that I ordered. And it said it would be here till January, but it, if this is what I think it is, how cool is that? They got it to me really early. If if I think that's the eyelids that I ordered, no way. I, as soon as I got home, I was like, Ugh! I almost busted my ass on the stairs. I, I twisted my ankle a little bit because I was trying to go down the stairs. I'm like, I gotta get pocket enough. I gotta get this thing open. Oh, this is gonna be so thick. I keep looking at the LCD, LCD screen, but I gotta stop doing it. Baloney. Just be careful. Last time I did something like, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, Stoongats. Ah! I need to get a pocket knife. It is the eyelids. Oh my god. That's awesome. I didn't think that they'd get it in this early. Holy crap. Oh, 
hope they're not too big. That would suck. <laughs> it said it was compatible with my car, but it just looked huge. That's a big ass eyelid. I mean, what the heck? Does it go all the way around or what? I mean, I might have to buff it out a little bit. It's got some scrapes on there. They still look pretty good. <laughs> they match the rest of my car, which is already scuffed up. <laughs> there we go. You can see all that? I think it's because, uh, actually these were brand new. So it might have been because of the paint. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm just kind of like, oh, well, I can probably fix that. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. But I buffed that out, maybe. I think it's, that it's done that. I mean, it said these were fiberglassed. That's why. Yeah, and I can smell that. <laughs> it's definitely fiberglass. Um, but I can see why you can, the paint's kind of funky here. Because maybe when they wrapped it, the, the wrapping got stuck on it. I mean, it's not bad. I, I don't care. It's, it's okay. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> why is it so huge? I mean, this one's got some scuffs on it, but the other one's not too bad. This one looks pretty clean. There's nothing going on over there, except, you know, I'll probably clean off the edge a little bit. Uh, because, um, yeah, it's got some scuffs from the wrapping, you know. Well, this is cool. I, I didn't know these came in. Holy crap. They got in early, didn't they? All right, so let's, uh, I guess what we can do is see if they fit real quick. All right, so I, did, I had to open up the hood in order for it to fit in there. But, oh my god. <laughs> I love it. It goes good with the raptor claws, the little fins that we did earlier. That, and, and then like, or no, this is the next day, I, I'm sorry. Doy. Uh, but yeah, so the fins look nice on it. The raptor claws, the freaking eyelids. Dude. I got a new filter in it today. How freaking cool is that? I love it. <laughs> what a day. Got my filter, got my you know, got my filter, got my eyelids that came in today. That looks sick. I like it. Makes her look more aggressive, you know? All right, so it's been a few days. I clearly changed shirts. No, I wasn't wearing the same shirt. Um, so it's been a few days after the last couple of videos that you saw. Uh, we installed the eyelids, the spoilers down there, did the ones in the back. I did put the side skirts on. Um, uh, actually I could probably show you that real quick. Anyway, you see, what I, you see what I'm talking about right there. So that's the same material that we used for the front. It's called the Easy Lip. Like I said before, it's the same thing. We did the back with it and we did the front with it, so. I just want to point out a few things before we go on in any further episodes. No, I am not going to do anything extreme with this car. Because first of all, it's my everyday car. I take it to work or I run an errand or go to a friend's house or whatever. So I don't want to stick anything stupid on it, do anything crazy with the performance of this car. You know, I do have in mind maybe a turbo system, just a basic little kit. But either than that, I, I'm afraid of going any further with performance wise because one, I don't want it to sound like okay those little tuna fish cans out there you know what, that's what my dad calls them <laughs> he's hilarious you know what i mean those little those little fart cans out there so i'm not going to do an exhaust with this car unless unless and it's a big unless it is quiet and loud when i need it to be if i accelerate it really hard you'll hear it but if i just take it very easily you can hear just nothing but silence other than that i'm never going to install an exhaust in this car because I don't want to hear it, frankly. I like my little stealthy Betty here. So I'm trying to keep it very low toned, very stylish, you know. I, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I did sand these down. I did take some very, very, very fine sandpaper and just scuff those little scars off so it's nice and smooth. I didn't want, I didn't paint them. Uh, because they actually show better in just satin black the way they did, they came in. And it looks nice, you can see it, it doesn't blend in with the car or anything. I mean, it kind of does from a, from a distance, but it looks nicer as they are. 
Uh, and all I did was just scuff up the crap that was on it. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out before I finish this episode off. Uh, if there is going to be any further episodes, maybe four episodes of this? I'm not sure. It just depends on what else I decide to do with this car. Other than that, I just have a turbo system in mind, a very basic one, nothing that's going to explode this car, you know, power-wise. And that's the thing, I don't care for power. I, I try to keep it very mellow because I don't want to be down the street. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> No, I don't want to be just thrown back in my seat, you know what I mean? So, like, I mean, yeah, okay, that'd be fun, but no, I, I, not, not in this car. No, I, I just, whew, no, <laughs> period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode. If there is going to be a third episode, it could be either, I don't know, whatever it is I decided to be. Unless you guys have any ideas what else you think performance-wise I can do to this car. But again, keep it very simple, because I'm not going to explode the engine here, okay? It's my everyday car, and I don't want to do anything stupid with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the second episode. There's probably going to be one more or two more after this. And I will see you goons later. Well, that was a...